Hi guys, it's Stacy. Uh, today's July 8th, 2021. And for um, you guys who don't know me, um, this channel was um, just inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's just to promote God alone. Um, and the Lord has just been working in me since 2017. Um, I've been receiving dreams and visions and the Holy Spirit has been working in me. It has been a struggle in my part more of resistance because um you know it's it's just not my thing um just to this is not my thing <laughs> but if there's anything i've learned the lord is so faithful and um yeah it's we just have to if there's anything um that the lord is po pointing to i had to i have to be obedient if i have to be um, if, if I have to be that small mouthpiece for the Lord, then so be it. It's not going to be for everyone. However, I do pray that eyes would be opened, ears would be popped open to be able to hear the truth and God's just God, His pureness, His love, His goodness. And so, um, all right just a little update last week guys i did um my last video was trump and a wave is coming um through that window i saw that this huge wave was coming and um just these people were just chaotic they were just frantic so much fear in them that they didn't know what to do and i was looking up because I knew um, in this dream it was pointing you know where we are supposed to look when we do have fear if we feel that fear and just two days ago and yesterday if you look into Russia Mexico Japan floods that are happening and i'm not talking about just any other flood i grew up in a country where in my area there's a little bit of rain and there's floods um this is massive massive flooding and now i understand what the holy spirit because times guys um prophecy reveals itself in due time and it's just um you know as children of god as believers it's just our um our thing is just to be obedient um and so i believe the lord all right of course with everything that's happening all that flooding the d-e-l-t-a and another i believe there's another um variant of it that's about to pop up that wants to put fear in our hearts and it's going to be natural if we do not know um we do not know the Lord, our Lord, then that's going to be a natural reaction. We're going to have fear. And um, the Lord wants to take away that fear. <laughs> God is so gracious. That's the good news. He is um, God is so gracious, gracious, just so full of mercy. Um, and so, all right, that leads me to um, a dream that I had the other day that I had to share. And in this dream, I was riding in this type of vehicle and I see see these like these three men that were on top of on top of um, it's like a type of vehicle but I can't explain it guys they were they were on top of it okay and um, you just knew from these men that they were like crippled they've been through so much persecution in life because of how they looked. Um, but yet there was just this kindness and humbleness in them, in their faces. And that's the thing guys, when in your dream, it's like you're trying to discern the spirit in them. And in the, as I was looking at them, I was praying and I, I was praying for them and I heard these very words um, those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. And, um, 
just like in um, my last video, which I could not even, I think it was banned by <laughs> YouTube, but I was, it was all sh um, shouting humbleness, humility. This is, um, I believe the Holy Spirit is trying to, um, wants us to focus on having humble hearts. And this is like, this is something that we hear every day, but guys, we have to get serious. <laughs> have you noticed there are times so many people getting afflicted, uh, so many people this is a sad state we are in. Um, we pray and pray and pray for the best. <laughs> we have a disease and pray for, pray for healing. Lord, please heal it. And if nothing happens, that faith dwindles or it just weakens. And that's the, that's the part, guys. It's either you believe in Jesus and all his power and his, um, you just, you just know it's his willingness to restore you, to heal you. That's his, that's his desire for you. You just have to be, you have to believe in all of that or, or not. You just kind of like, oh, I'll pray and, um, I'll just pray for the best and I pray that he heals me. Um, there's, you know what, that, that, that fire for the Lord, that's what's lacking. And the anointing just stops there. It can't flow through. And um, that's, that's the sad part where the faith right now is just so weak. And it's one thing, guys, when we pray and pray, it's just all... You know it's we feel like the Lord is not hearing me and it, it just ends up like empty prayers and the Lord is here's the thing the Lord is inviting us okay the important thing is to have that relationship with the Lord how is our relationship with the Lord um all points down everything that's happening guys everything um this virus uh economic situation physical things that's happening in the earth you know it's a form of judgment um, god allows this to happen and it's you know it's judgment starts in the house of the lord and at the end of the day who does the Lord find righteous? Is it in our hearts when we pray? You know, do we put all our faith and trust in them? Or do we put it in the government? And these stuff that they are trying to introduce to us? Um, here's the thing. Um, it all points down to Chronicles 7 verse 14. And it says, um, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land what's the first thing that that the lord requires it's humbled <coughs> hearts humbleness it's it's we right now we just live in a wicked generation people kids talk back to their parents um just away from the lord everything that is wrong is right and that's what we are dealing with just a big deception that's going on and if we have that 
um, type of attitude, we have to assess ourselves, guys. So important. Humble ourselves. In relation to my dream, um, because I believe these three men, they had so much humbleness in their hearts. These represented, you know, crippled, broken people. And we know in the Bible, the Lord is so close to the brokenhearted. All right, I'm gonna uh, read um, Luke 18 verse, um, I'll start from 10, okay? Two men went up the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance and he would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast. He beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Is that how we pray right now, guys? Is that how we humble ourselves to the point that we bow down and there's nothing in us there's nothing we are not righteous um are you are we that type um and again the lord corrects us we go out this a person um you know says something about us and it, you know in our spirit it's just like it boils up to something we get hot-headed and stuff and and we say to ourselves that you know we are the ones who are right and they're not you know it's a normal thing right um but guys the lord is trying to put back there's nothing righteous about us. There, you can't even um, define humbleness because if we do define humbleness, it be, gets to a human standard because I was right, that person was not. We have to go back to biblical standards of humbleness. And the Lord, you know, the Lord said that love your enemies if someone slaps you on the left cheek give him the right one for him to slap on and there's no need to talk back there's no need you know because the lord will be the judge for you is that our attitude right now the thing is we have to exalt the lord we have to bow down, Lord Jesus. Um, please don't give me that, that prideful heart. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Let me see your ways, not my ways. Um, and that's when, that's when, that's when, just like that tax collector, no one, um, the Lord that's when the Lord exalts you when you bow when we bow down um, and we don't see anything righteous in us but we surrender everything to the Lord yet we know that we have the peace because we know that the, the Lord you know sees everything and he will be he will be the one to judge if we are at that state where uh, we can't forgive or you know it's so easy for us to judge another person then we're missing it guys we're missing it that's why our prayer is so far from the Lord assess we have to have that purest of pure hearts humble down humbled hearts all right humble themselves and pray our prayerful life we have to um you know the lord honors that prayer when you always have 
that moment with him that builds because it's through that prayer that our relationship with the Lord strengthens the Holy Spirit shows you things so he humbled themselves pray and seek my face and I can't um, stress enough guys um, how <laughs> It's so um, everything around us, if we, if we have a love for this world, you know, it's going to be easy. You know, it's going to be easy for us to be deceived. We want to do this. We want to do that. Um, and we forget to seek the face of the Lord. Because what does it say in the Bible? It's either you love this world or you love me. Um and then turn from their wicked ways this is the culprit guys when we turn you know and we can't just pray and pray and then you know after an hour talk back or gossip about someone or slander another person or you know um or just do sinful things we can't that's the thing for the Lord your God is holy. We have to be. We have to strive to be holy, and that's the part where we can't hear from the Lord. It's because we ourselves. It's the sin that separates us from the love of God. It's as simple as that. Um, and so we have to turn from our wicked ways. We're never going to be perfect, but. Again, the Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit is in you, he convicts you of your sin and try. And we just put all our surrender and trust in the Lord that he will heal us. He will restore us. And if that is our prayer, guys, humbled hearts, we seek him, pure hearts. And we, we turn from our wicked ways. We just, you know, we just have to... It's just complete surrender to the Lord. And I will forgive their sin. Then he will forgive our sin. And I will heal their land. I will forgive their sin. Because in a recent dream, which uh, I, I can't even find it from a YouTube. In a recent dream that I had, guys, it's um, Lord showing me that it's sin that causes all diseases, all illnesses it's our sin and it could be i was speaking about it could be from what our mouths utter because their life and death comes from the power of the tongue we the moment we talk um negative stuff i feel weak i feel this i am anxious i am stressed and power comes from our mouth then it it opens the door for the enemy to um it opens the door for them to you know to get into our to, for them to attack and so guys we have to we had to that's a different we have to we have to be we have to watch what's coming out from our mouths and it could be also from you know the sins that our forefathers or you know forefathers did and it passes down to us and that's why demons has to be casted out and if we are just sinful 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 it's just an open and it's an open gate for the enemy to attack and then illnesses and diseases happen and i be it's um and that's the thing sin we have to turn from our wicked ways all right um and when we get to that state of humbleness lord god you just have to like you have to beat your heart and just accept that we are we are nothing we are just sinners we are sinners and that's when we allow the power of god that's where we we put all our 100% trust. That's where we rely on for our healing, for our strength. 
and then he will hear you and he will heal you that's that's how simple it is it's so simple yet if we don't know if we're not aligned in the word we would not know that and that's why the lord is calling for humbleness humbled hearts guys and that's when he will hear you and my prayer it's my prayer um and i'm gonna pray lord jesus we thank you for this revelation enlighten our minds open eyes to see and ears to hear forgive us of our sins oh lord give us give us humbled hearts to the point that we bow low we bow down to you oh lord so that you may hear our cries our prayer forgive us our sins and we invite the holy spirit that fresh anointing to come upon us so that we could see the truth and we could just see your pure goodness and your pure love in jesus mighty name amen all right guys um all right uh love you all and um praying for just praying do not have because the lord did not give us the spirit of fear have just peace and joy in our hearts because we have the lord um and because blessed are those who you know who have those open ears and who's just absorbing when you get to absorb the word of the lord you know guys it's that's the lord knocking into our hearts and that's all we need at the end of the day that's all we need it's the lord it's jesus all right guys love you all um bye